Hello again, Year 6. Time for another Year 6 Maths meeting. Alright, we're going to start off today with Theo thinks. Theo's thinking of a number. He doubles it and adds 4. He then shares it between 11. His final answer is 6. But what was the number that Theo was thinking of? What I'd like you to do today, Year 6, is to pause your video and just set out your method. And then we'll come back together and we'll try and solve it. All right, let's have a look at your method. You should have something that looks a bit like this. Theo was thinking of a number and he doubled it. He times it by two. He then added four. He then shared between 11. He divided it by 11 and he ended up with six. This should be your method, ready to use the inverse to solve it. So now you've got your method, pause your video and find out the number Theo was thinking of. All right, let's see how we got on. He divided by 11, so we're going to times by 11 and use the inverse. 6 times 11 is 66. He added 4, we'll inverse and take away 4. 66 take away 4 gives me 62. He doubled it, we'll inverse and halve it. Half of 62 gives me 31. Was Theo thinking of 31? He was. Great job, year 6. All right, we're moving on now to knowing what Noah knows. These questions are similar to the ones we looked at in our last session. We'll go over them again. What you want to do is have a look if there is any way of making these numbers easier before you work with them, but keeping them in proportion. So pause your video and have a go. All right, let's see how we got on. I've got 1,400 divided by 700. I'm going to make both of these numbers 10 times smaller to try and make them easier to work with. I'm going to make them 10 times smaller again to see if they're easier to work with. Oh, 14 divided by 7, that's equal to 2. Now because we kept our numbers in proportion, my answer is still 2. There's nothing else to do when we're finished. 1,400 divided by 700 is equal to 2. And if we count up in 700s, we know we only need to do it twice until we reach 1,400. Really great job if you got that one. Now let's have a look at the second one. 3,600 divided by 60. Again, we're going to make them both 10 times smaller. Now they're much easier to work with. I can't make them any smaller for now because I know that 6 divided by 10 would be really tricky to work with. But I do know that there are six sixes and 36. 36 divided by six is equal to six, but I do need to make it 10 times bigger. W same as the question before, we don't need to do anything else with our answer. It stayed in proportion. So 3,600 divided by 60 is equal to 60. Really great job if you got both of those year six. We will go over these again, don't worry. So let's move on now to ratio with Horatio. He was our new character this week. Let's do a quick revision. Ratio compares how much there is of one thing compared to another thing. Same example that we've been using this week. I've got four footballs compared to 12 tennis balls. The ratio of footballs to tennis balls is four to 12. So let's have a go at one on our own. Ratio compares how much there is of one thing compared to another thing. There are five red balls in the bag and three green balls. What is the ratio of red to green balls? Notice in the question the order red to green, that's important. So pause your video and write the ratio. All right, let's see how we got on. We should have written the ratio five to three. Five red balls to three green balls with the colon in the middle to show we're showing ratio. Well done if you got that one. Let's try one more. There are five red cars in the car park and eight black cars. What is the ratio of black to red cars? Now watch out for this question. Notice the order we need for the ratio. All right, pause your video and have a go. Okay, let's have a look. We wanted the ratio of red, we wanted the ratio of black to red cars. So this is what we should have written. Eight to five, 
a ratio of 8 to 5. Well done, year 6. Alright, on to DJ Mix this time. He's got a mixed number that he's going to convert into an improper fraction. So pause your video and have a go. Alright, let's see how we got on. We need to know how many fifths there are in our whole number. So 5 times 1 gives me 6, but I already had 1 fifth, so I add that on. That gives me 6 fifths. Well done. Let's have a look at this one. DJ Mix has got an improper fraction, 13 fifths. He's going to convert it now into a mixed number. So pause the video and do the same. Okay, let's have a look. DJ Mix knows that 5 fifths is equal to 1 whole, and that's what he's looking for. How many whole numbers can he make from this fraction? We know that there are two lots of five, so two whole numbers, but there are three fifths left over. Two and three fifths. Well done, year six. All right, we're on to say it with Sam. Sam's dividing by seven. He's finding one seventh. I am finding one seventh of four ninths. Say it. I am finding one seventh of four ninths. Say it again. All right, pause your video, write down the equation first and solve it. All right, let's have a look. I am finding one seventh of four ninths. Now that I've written it down, I know that I can use Tilly times it across and I know I'm doing one times four and seven times nine. Give me four sixty thirds. Well done, year six, if you got that one. All right. Oh, here's Tilly. We're going to use Tilly's method to just multiply three sevenths by one eighth. Off you go. Let's have a look. So Tilly knows she can multiply her numerators and then she can multiply her denominators. Three times one gives her three, and seven times eight is fifty six. Three fifty sixths. Well done. All right, back to Sam. Sam's now dividing by eight. When we divide by eight, we are finding one eighth. I am finding one eighth of five eighths. Say it for me, year six. Let's try saying it again. I am finding one eighth of five eighths. Try again. All right, pause your video, write it down and solve it. All right, let's see how we got on with this one. I am finding one eighth of five eighths. One times five gives me five and eight eighths are 64. Five sixty-fourths, and that's your answer. Well done again, year six. Another great year six maths meeting. Remember, you can go back through the video to go over any methods that you would like to practice. If there are any maths meeting characters that you haven't seen for a while and you'd like to revise them, you can always let me know in an email or let us know in our Zoom sessions in the mornings or afternoons if there's something you're stuck on or something you'd like to revise. But for now, have a great day and we'll see you really soon. Bye, Year 6.